Hi, this is Randy from Friday's Golf, and welcome to Hard Boiled, the segment where I sit on an ugly couch and give you my first impression on new golf equipment in the market. Now, today's piece of equipment is the new Ping Prodigy Junior Set. Now, I realize that a lot of you probably don't have any personal interest in this set, but I do have junior subscribers out there, and plus, parents, you might be looking to buy your kid a new set of junior clubs, so today, I'm going to review this set. Now, the purpose of today's review is to not only give you my personal thoughts and opinions of how the Ping Prodigy set performs, but also how it performs up against some of the top performing Ping equipment on the market today. First thing we're going to talk about is materials. Now, Ping has decided not to water down the materials they use in the Prodigy set because the driver uses titanium, which you'll see in almost all high-end performing drivers on the market today, and also on their fairway wood, hybrid, irons, and wedges, they use the same 17-4 stainless steel that you'll see in their G400 series. Speaking of G400, you're going to see a lot of similar technology from that series in the Prodigy set. For starters, the driver, fairway wood, and hybrid all have turbulators on the top line there. The crown of the driver also has Dragonfly technology, which takes some weight off of the crown there and puts on the bottom of the driver, making it easier to launch up into the air. Also, the irons and wedges feature the same elastomer insert that gives us that great sound and feel as popular Ping products in the past. That's alliteration, kiddos. Look it up. The putter in the set resembles the Voss model. If you're not sure what that is, it basically looks like an answer, but it's a 320 gram head that has some perimeter weighting to make the putter a little bit more forgiving on off-center hits. The set features a lightweight graphite shaft that comes in both junior regular and junior stiff flex. It's then optimized for weight and balance to fit your kiddo's club head speed. Now, the last thing I wanna talk about before we get into the specs of the set is the Prodigy Hoofer bag that the clubs sit in. Now, there's two versions of this. You have a taller one and the shorter one, but basically the materials, how it looks, how it performs is the exact same as the Hoover bags out on the market today. They're just a little smaller and a little lighter. The second thing I want to talk about are the specs of the clubs and also the possible set makeups that you can create. So we're going to go over every single available club in the set and then also what lofts they are. Starting out, you have a driver that comes in 15 degrees. The fairway wood has 22 degrees. The hybrid has 27. The six iron has 32. The seven iron has 35. The eight iron has 39. The 9-iron has 43. The pitching wedge has 47. Now you have two wedges here. They don't label them as a sand wedge or a gap wedge, but you have a 52 degree and you have a 56 degree. And then the putter itself has three degrees aloft. Now, I purposely didn't talk about length and line angle because this set is completely customizable. So if your junior is between the height of four foot five and five foot two, they can make these clubs lengthwise to fit them. Also, they can adjust the line angle. But Ping will help you with this process, much like they do with adults, where they say if you are this height with this wrist to floor measurement, they'll plot your junior on that chart somewhere saying that this length and line angle of club will best suit them. Now, anyone out there that knows anything about the Ping Prodigy set, you know that they are extremely expensive. And part of that reason is because of the Get Golf Growing program. And what this is, is it states that any golfer that buys five of these clubs, at least five of them, you can send them back to Ping at any time to have them readjusted one time for completely free. And what this means is that if you buy this set for your child when they're four foot five, and then now all of a sudden they're five foot one, you can send the set back to Ping. You just pay shipping there. And what they'll do is they'll readjust the shaft, whether it's the flex, the length, they'll resize the grips, they'll re-angle the heads, whatever they need to do to get this set to refit your junior. And I think this is an amazing program because for a long time you have people kind of reluctant to buy their junior a nice set of clubs because after a year or two, they're just gonna grow out of it. But in this case, in this circumstance, if you buy them a nice set of clubs, they're gonna have guaranteed at least seven inches of growth where they'll be able to play it no problem. So I pretty much covered the basics on the Ping Prodigy set, but that's not really how I operate. I'm not just gonna talk about these clubs and tell you what I think about them. I actually wanted to take them out onto the course and play them for myself. Now, this set that I have here in particular is uh, a set that was for my 13-year-old daughter, and she's about five foot one. And the set itself, they're only about an inch shorter than the set I use. Um, doctor says I'm still growing, but I'm not there yet. Now, I could very easily bring my 13-year-old down here and have her speak to you in hyperbole about how this is the greatest set that's ever been made. But rather than do that, I think you'd rather have a seasoned club tester's opinion on how these clubs perform out in the real world. So, let's go to the course. So I'm out here at Riverbend Golf Course. 
I brought the Prodigy set with me. I'm gonna take them out into the golf course right now and test them out. Now, I'm not gonna swing them at 110 miles an hour. I'm gonna tempo it out and really focus on contact to give you guys my honest opinion of how I think these clubs perform. So, unfortunately, it's like really busy here, so everyone's gonna be watching me hit these junior clubs, but it's for you guys, so let's do it. Okay. I'm lasering back to the T station. I just hit that drive 255 yards. I think at this point, worst case scenario is I play the best round of my life with a set of junior clubs. So I thinned that wedge just a little bit, but the ball still got up in the air super quick like you'd see in, in most of your game improvement irons, but it's like 15 feet. Pretty putt. All right, so I'm running out of daylight, but I feel like I gave the set a good proper test out here on the course. I hit every single club multiple times, but I'm gonna head back to the ugly couch now and let you know my final thoughts. See you back there. All right, so we're back on the ugly couch and I wanna give you my thoughts and opinions on what I think of the Ping Prodigy set now that I've had a chance to test them out on the course. My first impression of this set when I took it out of the box was, these do not look like junior clubs. And having taken them out to the golf course and played with them, they don't perform like junior clubs. I almost birdied that first hole, my first go with these clubs out on the golf course. Uh, the driver really surprised me because not only was it solid feeling, but it also performed well. I still got decent distance out of it, even though I wasn't swinging at my regular club head speed. So that right away was that was impressive. And as I stated in the video, that first iron shot that I hit was a little bit thin, but the ball still launched up in the air, no problems whatsoever, which is what you wanna see with a junior iron, because a lot of times they lack the club head speed to be able to launch the ball and get it airborne. Now the rest of what you saw was pretty much a highlight reel, but performance wise, I hit every single club in the bag and I was not once disappointed on how the club performed and how it felt. Now my timing was a little off because of the weight of the club. Now there was, a decent swing weight there, but it was a little lighter than I was used to. And also the total weight of the club was off. So me trying to time everything out was a little difficult. And as I got more confident with the set, I started to swing a little faster, which became a nightmare very quickly. But overall, very impressed with the performance. The driver, the fairway wood, the hybrid, they all performed like high-end level metal woods that you'd see in the market today. The irons, they performed as well as any game improvement set that I've hit out on the market. So you really don't sacrifice much when it comes to current technology as a junior golfer now. The wedges had great green side spin, good feel, good performance out of those. The putter felt solid. Once again, it was a little bit lighter weight, but still, when struck in the center of the putter, it felt pretty similar to the one I have. And probably the most surprising thing during my experience playing with this set was the fact that I didn't give up any distance with the irons, which kind of blew my mind. Now the driver, obviously playing such high loft, I had generated a lot of spin and I lost a little bit there, but I'm still hitting it like 255, 260. But the irons, I hit my eight iron where I would hit my eight iron that I currently play with. So I didn't sacrifice any distance or performance there. And they felt just as crisp, just as solid when I struck them. But when I would miss hit them, 
they would still get the ball airborne and they would still go, which is what we all want, right? Now, before I start sounding too much like a 13-year-old girl. <gasps> Did it hit the flag? I think I went in. I do want to mention that there is a major drawback to the Ping Prodigy set, and that is the price. These clubs are insanely expensive. I'm not sure where you are in the world or where you're, you're looking to purchase these, but they are every bit as expensive as a high-end set that you would see for adults. Now, a lot of people are questioning like, why would I wanna buy my kid a set of clubs that cost more than mine do? Well, these clubs aren't for what I would say the beginner golfers. This set is for a serious junior golfer. Now, if you're going out and you're buying this set for a kid that's never played the game before, it's probably not gonna be the best option. And the reason I say that is not because they're not gonna appreciate the performance, but it's because you're putting a lot of pressure on that kid. You're saying, hey, I spent all this money for you to play golf, now you better play golf. And in doing so, you might crumble some of that desire for them to naturally wanna play the game. So I always recommend starting out with like, a cheap set or even just one club and having them play, see where they go, see if they, they latch onto it and they want to, you know, broaden their horizons when it comes to playing more golf. But buying this set for a junior, you want to make sure that they are devoted and that they really want to play this game on a more competitive level. Now this set in particular, I was going to purchase for my 13 year old stepdaughter. She came to me and was like, hey, I really like playing and she's been playing for like three or four years now. And she's like, I want to play competitive golf next year. And I'm like, I have no problems with that. Let's get you a nice set. And I saw this set come out. So I messaged Ping and I was like, hey, I want to buy this set. Now, John K, being the guy he is, sent these to my stepdaughter for her birthday. She was ecstatic. She absolutely loves them. And I greatly appreciate that. But I also have a five-year-old who's been showing a lot of enthusiasm in playing with me and her older sister. So now when my 13-year-old grows out of this set, I can then send it back to Ping and they'll resize it for my youngest. Now this set right here is a complete set. It's every single club that they offer, but I don't think that's necessary for every junior golfer out there because a lot of times what we see, especially with juniors with slower club head speeds, is the distances start to overlap. Much like in adults that have slower club head speeds, that's why we hit the eight iron as far as we hit a seven iron and sometimes even farther because that eight iron has more loft on it, more launch, and it carries out farther. So if you're a younger junior golfer, you could get away with doing a putter, a wedge, seven iron, hybrid and a driver for quite a long time. And as you grow and those gaps start to expand, you can insert other Prodigy clubs into your set because they put serial numbers on these just like they do with the adult sets. So if you send these back to get them resized, you can just purchase new Prodigy clubs to fill those gaps. It's pretty cool. So my final thoughts and conclusion on the Ping Prodigy set are as follows. One, I think this is one of the best looking, best performing junior sets that I have ever seen. Two, I think that the Get Golf Growing program is an amazing program. It's going to help junior golfers improve their game and also not develop bad habits by swinging clubs that are too long or too short for them. You can just send them back to the manufacturer and get back a set that fits you. Three, this set is insanely expensive. You are investing in your child's golf game if you buy them a set of Ping Prodigies. But I think it's worth it because although they are very pricey, they are worth every single penny, even if it's a pretty one. So that wraps up this episode of Hard Boiled. If you have any questions about the Ping Prodigy set, please put it down in the comment section below. Thumbs up the video, subscribe to the channel, and until next time, I will see you later. Okay. <laughs>